Hi everyone, I'm Heather. This is the Drops of Health page. And I just wanted to get on here really quick for the top 12 things to keeping your kids healthy. Okay, now that we're entering into fall and back to school and all this stuff, you just wanna make sure your kids are at the best health they are. Because remember with essential oils, we're doing preventative care, not the um, old mindset of, oh, once we have an issue, then we run and get something for it. No, we want to like help do the preventative so that way we can avoid a lot of stuff. So getting rid of all the chemicals and toxic garbage with you know side effects, expiration dates, recalls, there's so much. We can avoid all that by using the oils, okay? So um, you can kind of take back some of your kids' well-being, control over your kids' well-being, right? By using the oils and the products like that. Avoid the synthetic chemicals, the all the stuff that's out there and the oils are more potent than herbs, okay? And you can take care of so many things. Now remember with kids, everybody, but especially with kids, essential oil safety, do not put in eyes, ears, up nose, okay? Always dilute. And so top 12 things really quick. I just did this on the public education group and I went more in depth. So if you want to pop on over there. But number one, respiratory. Top thing for their respiratory health is breathe, and you can back it up with frankincense to help boost um, for all things respiratory. And also, if they have seasonal things, use this trio, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. For ear health, you're going to want melaleuca and lavender. Anytime they have issues with their ears, this duo is excellent. Put a couple drops in the palm of your hand, rub it in the front and behind their ears, down the jawline, take a hot wash rag, um, wring it out and put it over their ear and just reapply it as necessary. Super good. That has saved my kids so many times. Um, it's pennies and you can take care of it at home and not have to go anywhere or do anything. So that's for ear health. For owies, same thing, melaleuca and lavender. And then you could add frankincense and that these this trio right here is excellent for all owies and skin things you can add equal parts of these and a little coconut oil in a glass jar or you can make it into a spray okay so you can use um, doTERRA has these kind of spray bottles you can use the 15 ml glass ones and you can use that too as an owie spray number four is body temperature peppermint helps to regulate that so um, it's natural for their, their temperature to rise when they're fighting something off, but to help give them relief and comfort, a cooling sensation, and to work with your body, not a medicine to force it down, um, but work with the body, use peppermint. So dilute it and apply on the spine and back of neck. Number five is digestive system. Ginger and all peppermint, all these oils are all in one in the digestion bottle. Perfect. So just dilute it, rub it on the stomach, area of concern, bottoms of feet. You're going to need this, okay, if you have kids. Um, six, when you have warts, bugs, things like that, you can use melaleuca and then oregano for the stubborn heavy heavy hitters. And then you can put a drop of melaleuca in their shampoo to keep their hell, hair healthy and free of unwanted guests. Okay, melaleuca tea tree oil is the best for that. Um, seven is bug bites and stings. You're going to want lavender. Lavender is a soother, helps take the itch away, is perfect. And then to avoid um, bugs and everything is the repellent blend, the Terra Shield. And then number eight is teething and teeth grinding. Clove oil is great for that. It is a hot oil, so you want to dilute it. And for um, teeth grinding at night, you can just put lavender down the jaw bone, the line to help relax it before bed. For uh, number nine is sleep. So diffuse oils, like an hour before bedtime. Great ones are serenity. You can use lavender. Peace, because it has vetiver in it. We love this one. And then also Calmer is the kids blend. So it's pre-diluted in a roller and they can just rub it right on. I have a couple kids that have to do, do this before bed, rub down their spine after I brush their teeth. It's perfect, okay? They need sleep. Um, and then for mood, there's lots of oils for mood, but my favorite is Balance. It smells like you're in the middle of a forest. It is a grounding blend. Helps the kids to chill out. Um, 
So balance is super good. If they need some more happy in their life, do wild orange or other citrus. That helps boost the mood. Um, the kids rollers, there's the steady is it also another grounding blend. If they need help with like courage, there's the brave. Okay. And then also for mood, all the emotional oils like peace, console, motivate, all those are excellent for that. So that's number 10 mood. 11 is focus. In tune is the go-to for focus. If any of the kids don't want to smell like oils when they go to school, like some may be picky about that, especially if they're older. They can just put on the bombs of their feet and put their socks and shoes on. No one can smell it, but they're getting the benefits. There's also the thinker blend, the kids oil one. This is another focus one. Super good. The kids can use these themselves. You can use little keychains and put them in their backpack. Um, these, if you get the kids oil kit, they come with the little rubber tops with the clips they could put in their backpacks too. And number 12, the last one, is of course your immune system, okay? On guard is the big daddy of that. On guard, okay? If you have kids, you better have this in your house. <laughs> this is the immune system blend. So put a drop, what we do, put a drop in our hand with coconut oil and we rub it on the back of their neck and spine every day when we get dressed. Because you're wanting to prevent things, right? It's not like, oh, we got something, now we have to use things. That's like that old mindset of over-the-counter stuff. Um, this prevents things. So um, use that, diffuse it daily before everyone goes to work and school so they're breathing it in, especially in fall and winter. I'm warning you now, don't sit ahead and tell you, get your on guard, okay? Diffuse it every morning so everyone's breathing it in while they eat breakfast and whatnot. Um, put the drop on them, on their body. They, uh, kids, small kids like to use their own oils too, so the kids' oil collection is perfect. This is a stronger blend. They just shake it, and then they can put it right on their wrists like this, behind the ears, back of neck, right here. Okay, just rub it in, get it on your system. And then also don't forget the hand sanitizer. Keep one of these in their backpack. Keep it on you when you get out of school, or the grocery store, library, whatever. Just spritz everyone's hands. Okay, help keep down the sickness. And then the um, toothpaste, the soap, on guards, and all those, you're just getting their bodies doused with this stuff to help boost their immune system. So at least you can feel good knowing that you did your part and you're keeping them healthy and you're creating new lifelong habits for them. And they, the kids feel empowered because they're doing something for their own health that they can actually do. It's kind of cool. So anyway, those are just some top tips, keeping your kids healthy this as we get into fall and winter and back to school. And I hope that helps and I'll see you guys later. Bye.